Welcome to Lydia. Uh, we just came from a beautiful uh, mosaic and um, Mordecai. Mordecai, say hello. Hi, guys. Which is a, a great uh, tour guide. And we are heading to the, I think, one of the most important churches in, the, in Israel. Yeah, but that's the mosque. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. It used to be, yeah. It used to be a church from the 4th century. Sadly, today, it's, uh, the Muslims cut it into two. Then you can see Al Umri. Uh, um, mosque and the church is only half of what it used to be, but it's dedicated to Saint George Georgios. Saint George was a. He was born here. He was born here, and this is the most important thing. He was born here, and um, and he converted himself into Christianity at that time, the fourth century beginning of it, before Constantine time. It wasn't allowed. It wasn't at that time. It wasn't um, a legal religion. Then let's enter to the church that's been destroyed so many times. Look at the marble column. Yeah, that's a beautiful marble column. That's Crusader, I think. It's might be because it might. might be, but I, I I don't know. It can be from a different time. You can see now beautiful Georgios. Slaying the dragon. Yeah, the slaying dragon the dragon. The dragon is the pagan, it's the Romans in the way that they couldn't actually, at that time, they couldn't say, all right, uh, uh, we don't like the Romans, but we can say that we don't like the dragon. And uh, it became very important to so many places, so many countries like Britain, Georgia, and for the Christians in, uh, in, uh, in Israel and Palestine. Let's go in and let's be quiet. He was, um, he was buried here. I love that place. I love that place. I love that place. And I love that place. How are you? It's good to see you again. Yeah, the beautiful. Yeah, we know it. it's a Greek Orthodox uh, church. You can see the icon of uh, St. George and the dragon. And if, that's the Greek flag, the Greek, the royal, Greek symbol, royal, yes. royal symbol. Yeah. And if you will uh, join us to the Nativity Church, you will be able to see a beautiful chapel of it. Yeah, um, wow, look at the uh, Jerusalem in heaven. The same one is at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre at the Catilicon at the at, um, Greek Orthodox Cathedral. Then you can imagine that the church was longer than that, but, but the other side is uh, certainly a mask now. And um, I tell them who that, who that is. Who's that, who that is? The guy with the book. Wow. Is that Jesus himself? I cannot see. Yeah, Jesus himself. But that is almost obvious. Look at the... Uh, um, St. George here, and St. George there, Georgios. And remember, he... he, he convert himself to Christianity, it wasn't allowed at that time, and they tried to convert him back to the pagan Roman religion, and um, without a success. Now, look, because they, they changed the church now, then it looks wider. And look at the icon, the the wall of icon. Um, the nice thing that I can say about it is, not only it's beautiful, it's actually divided the holy of the holy, which is the other side, than us. Usually there are no seats at the church, at the Greek Orthodox Church, but here you can actually can see it. And the iconostasis tells uh, tell us the story of what's happening here. To the right of it, you, can, you will always see Jesus as the ruler of the world. To the left, you will see Mary, and the child. To the right of it, you can see uh, John the Baptist. Here it is. But if you want to, if you're entering to a Greek Orthodox church and you want to know what church, I mean, who, for what, what? they, they delegated to the, 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 the church, the church yeah. Yeah, then you have to go to the left. And here it is. Now we know that because he, um, he 
didn't convert himself back to the pagan, uh, they killed him because it was a non-legal religion at that time. I'm talking about Christianity. Then at the fifth century, according to what we believe, they brought his head back to the place that he was born. And we are talking about that place. Yeah, we're going to go down there in a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Do, let's do, do, do. Do, you, do you want to add something more? Because it's so beautiful. I mean, look at the colors. Probably the most famous iconostasis in Israel. In the mm, yes, yes, oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, which is yeah, but I think uh, yeah, a lot of. I mean, let's let's talk about uh, Saint Gabriel in Nazareth, beautiful iconostasis awesome. as well. Ah, oh, and it's air conditioned. That that's <laughs> a good plus. Yeah. Remind me, that, it's remind me that. I, didn't take a, a picture of um, the mosaics. No, never mind. You will be able to see the uh, video of it. Wait a minute. Now, it's beautiful to see. I was talking with uh, uh, the brother here uh, who served the church, and uh, I, for me it was very important. We already know that John the Baptist is here, but you can see the, here the. Uh, 12 apostles who are actually holding the church, international church in Jesus is already uh, above it. And in November, I think 14 or 15, it's the day of St. Joe and, and uh, I want to be here. And that is dedicated to Mary. Mary Assumption uh, was last week. And I will ask him about the uh, relic here because I'm not recognized that person and I will ask him and this is uh, James the brother of, uh, of Jesus the first patriarch and there's another wall of icons and here you can see something else uh, that is the mother and father of Mary uh, Joachim and Hannah and presentation of Mary in the temple and that apostle, John Apostle. And I just finished reading every word of John a few days ago. I need to know about the relic. Then let me take you. Yeah, then, uh, the uh, of course, it must be the relic of uh, St. George right here. I didn't see it before. That's why it was a surprise for me. Uh, here it is. This is pretty unusual that it's on the main floor, yeah, not yeah. behind the... That's true. And then maybe it's because, um, I don't know, actually, because of what? Well, he was dismembered after after uh, he was killed, so that's why you have the small bones, unfortunately. Then let's go now to the grotto. Please lead us to the grotto. It's a grotto, yeah. The crypt. The crypt. That's, crypt. Where, that's where we are heading now. We're heading to the underground. Yes. Spooky. We did this about 10 years ago. I know, but uh, but you know, it was 10 years ago, and sadly I didn't take a video of it uh, before. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. I love Greek Orthodox icons. Get one for your birthday. Um, I do have some in my house, my dear. <laughs> then we are going to see there. We're going to the grotto to see the tomb of um, Saint George. We know that the head is buried here, according to tradition from the fifth century. It's believe. It's the ones that didn't let him uh, deny his faith, yeah. even in the face of a horrible death that he knew was going to And we know so many horrible stories. I mean, not horrible stories, but horrible ways that they actually killed him. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to go there. Yeah, yeah. Know, he knew what he was getting into. And 
He's yeah. still fought that dragon. It's a martyr. It's, it's a person who, who believed in his way. I and mean, this is beautiful in a way. We have that in, in many religions and many people. Of course, of course, of course, of course. That is, that is true. Then, let's try to go. We came from here. Let's go from there. <laughs> this is this. Is, we, we we didn't talk about it, but you can you can. <laughs> if you come to here, then you will see some of the ways that they kill them. Uh, yeah. yeah, you want to, you don't want to see it. Torture, lots of it. Well, at least there's a two. There's a two. You can get out of this crib. True, true, okay. true. For now, anyway. true. Uh, and remember, in November, I will do my best to be here to celebrate with you. And if you didn't subscribe my channel until now, this is the time. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. What can I say? Mm, uh, I'm trying to climb up to the roof. The brother actually gave me permit. Then let me see if I can do that. He actually gave me a permit to go in then I'm climbing up just to show you the church from above Such a beautiful place. Now we did it. So, so happy that that the church is empty. I'm so sad that the church is empty, actually. Uh, because there's not a lot of tourists. And if you want to support the channel, I would be more than happy. Uh, go to the description of that video and look at the buy me a coffee or um, PayPal. Thank you very much for that. Stay with me, please. Thank you very much for everything. I want you to see the church from the outside. And because I'm... It is, it is. The cloisters, where the monks live. But it's open, I see, to the public. Then. Yeah, should we enter? We have to. We have to. That's, that's being the tour guide. There's a door, there's an opening, we go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's where the monks live. Yeah. All right, it's nice. Mm. Hi, is there a church inside? No, you're not allowed to come here. Ah, okay. Oh, they have the sign on the door saying it's open. Never mind. No, not this area, that's the church. Oh, okay. Okay. We're done. Okay, All right. Bye. Be careful. Then I want you to see the church from the outside, because I'm not sure that the first part of the movie. If 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 I took if I took the first part of the movie, then here it is. The church is new, but you can see that it was built. Uh, built yeah, on to, uh, yeah, an ancient yeah. And <laughs> you can see St. George here, and the word Nika is supposed to be here. Nico Nika, uh, victory. It's outside there. <laughs> and 
Uh, it used to be a big church, as you already know, the Muslims cut it into two, and now it's next to uh, a mosque. You see the mosque as non-Muslims, we cannot enter to the mosque. And the city of Lydia, it's a quite a very... Because uh, I remember that I tried a few times okay. to enter and they didn't let me. Okay. <laughs> That's why. Oh, no, they got a sign there. Ah, here it is. Holy place, entrance for foreigners. Uh, are we a foreigner? So or this is Israel. I don't know. Yeah, we are foreigners. Okay. We're no we're Muslims. We are Israel, yeah. Though, right? Now you can see a little bit of Lydia of today. Uh, it's, it's a very important place to visit, isn't it? Yeah, my man, St. George is so, so important to everyone. Georgia, oh, no, no, uh, Britain. No, no, the ch yes. Is Lydia important to visit today? That's a question. It's like a very... Not Lydia, the church. The church, yes. Yeah, yes. The church, the mosaics. Excellent. Then, uh, thank you very much. There are much. problems in this town yeah. that we're not going to get into. If you love Mordechai, and I know that you love because the other videos that I took with him, uh, people talked about oh, him. I will, enough. yeah. <laughs> I will That's add. Uh, I will add in the description his telephone number as well. Yeah, my telephone. I, I know telephone number, email, whatever my, you my, want. My wife. I don't know if she's going to like that telephone number. <laughs> All right. added. All but right. then maybe I will. So we and, might as well. Yeah. And it's been over the sea. It's called uh, the Three Religion Center. You can see here a synagogue, and a mosque, and a church. Then see you at our next video, which will be in the uh, in the city of Ramle. If you won't melt before. Uh, it's, look, it feels like 115 degrees, true. Bye-bye.